Guys, for those of you who don't know, it's uh, Peter and Jing and Abigail, <laughs> and our other two kids aren't here, but uh, <clears throat> we're just so thankful for prayers for Kitchener, uh, so thankful. Um, we're seeing some real shift here in Victoria Park, um, where I've especially asked uh, groups to pray, and uh, I've really discerned it's a, it's a spiritual center point uh, for the enemy's uh, strategies. And so thank you for your prayers. We have wonderful testimonies coming out of the park. Um, this Tuesday, we got to worship right among the tent encampment and mm -hmm. pray for people who are living in the tents. And um, these people are so broken. And I just found out there's, uh, we've noticed very young kids, 12 year old kids, and just found out uh, also that they are being trafficked. Uh, we just ask for continued prayers um, for breakthrough. And uh, I'm already amazed what God has done, that we could uh, worship and bring the Word of God into that central point is absolutely uh, an answer to prayer. And uh, we need to, I feel, I really feel strong, we need to have a continued, consistent presence in the park, mm -hmm. um, bring the Word of God in. We've been bringing coffee in and stuff, and even Abigail's been helping make the coffee and <laughs> hand mm -hmm. it out. <clears throat> and uh, I thank you, I'm so thankful for other families coming with their kids. Um, coming from further away. We live close to the park. Um, so please uh, continue to pray for Kitchener. If you can't make it out, your prayers are felt. Your prayers are absolutely needed at this time. We can see how society is uh, trying to rob the innocence of the youth. Mm -hmm. And uh, also the adults are in uh, so much shame from their past. And uh, we are re uh, reconciling people unto God. We're ministers of reconciliation. Uh, the price has been paid for everybody sins and we just uh we pray that people will will want to repent turn to the living god and we want to uh, share the gospel not just with words but with power and also practical ways uh to keep these people warm um give whatever we can to help them out thank you so much guys god bless you